On a tranquil morning, Jasper discovered his front lawn overshadowed by a gigantic eagle, exuding a serene yet daunting presence. Such a sight was unusual in the leafy suburbs of Willow Green, almost as though the eagle had specifically chosen his property for a visit. Overwhelmed by both admiration and a sense of urgency, Jasper cautiously moved closer to the majestic bird. He stopped dead in his tracks when the reason for its appearance became apparent. His heart pounding as he reached for his phone to call 911. The imposing size of the eagle, now up close, was truly intimidating. Jasper had never experienced such a large bird so near. It was far more massive than any image had suggested. Despite the initial uncertainty, the allure of this once-in-a-lifetime encounter compelled him to get nearer, whispering to himself about the necessity of a closer examination as he opened his front door, with each step towards the awe-inspiring creature. Jasper's heart throbbed in his throat, especially as the eagle unfurled its wings. His awe quickly morphed into fear upon realizing the true purpose of the eagle's visit. As he inched forward, careful not to startle it into flight, the eagle fluttered its wings perhaps as a gentle caution for him to maintain his distance. It remained perched in his yard, his eyes locked on the animal, struggling to believe this was actually happening. It was then he noticed something that sent chills through his body, a detail so subtle he might have missed it had he stayed indoors. Now, standing close to the bird, the alarming detail was unmistakably clear, draining the color from his face as he frantically felt for his phone. He cursed under his breath upon realizing he had left it inside. He glanced towards the house, knowing that he needed to act quickly to call the authorities without scaring the eagle away. Jasper knew he had to decide swiftly, despite his presence. The eagle could take off at any moment. He tried to remain calm, careful not to spook the magnificent bird as he prepared to make his move. As he retreated indoors, he was met with a piercing shriek just as his fingers brushed the door handle. Please don't go. He pleaded, casting a quick glance over his shoulder. To his relief, the bird was still vigorously flapping its wings on his front lawn. He made a swift withdrawal into the safety of his home to locate his phone now out of sight from the bird to avoid any startling movements, sprinting towards his goal, he spotted his phone immediately on the kitchen counter right by the window where he had first observed the eagle landing, without hesitation. He dialed 911 while moving towards the refrigerator, an idea forming in his mind, as he rummaged through the fridge, the 911 dispatcher answered his unusual call, this may sound odd, but there's a giant eagle in my front yard. Jasper explained to the dispatcher, moving closer to the creature as he narrated his encounter, his search ended when he found the pre-cut raw chicken, and he swiftly headed to the front door while still listening to the dispatcher's advice, please maintain a safe distance from the eagle, I'll instruct the officers to turn off their sirens as they approach your home to avoid startling it. Jasper agreed, ending the call as he came face to face with the eagle once more, now, he needed to ensure the eagle remained until the police arrived. He slipped his phone into his pocket and opened the packet of pre-cut chicken. The eagle seemed to perk up at the sight of it. Jasper tossed a small piece towards the eagle. However, it landed close to its feet. The sudden movement caused the eagle to flap its wings. And Jasper's heart froze as he realized his mistake, fortunately. The eagle seemed to recognize the chicken as food rather than a threat, as it pecked at the ground where the chicken lay and swallowed it. As Jasper scattered more pieces of chicken on the ground to keep the eagle's attention, it never took its eyes off him, pecking cautiously at the new offerings. Jasper proceeded slowly, careful not to frighten the bird. He could feel the tension in the air as the eagle, though an eagle, watched him intently, seemingly waiting for more. Jasper surveyed his front lawn, noting several neighbors peering through their curtains, drawn to the extraordinary scene unfolding outside. A group of neighbors, both curious and cautious, had gathered, murmuring about the enormous bird in Jasper's garden. Is that a real eagle? Someone inquired. Jasper, still attentively watching the eagle, nodded affirmatively, hoping for the police to arrive promptly. As the eagle spread its wings again, the assembled crowd let out a collective gasp. Stay back. Jasper cautioned, aiming to maintain calm. Soon, the police arrived and evaluated the situation with caution, keeping a safe distance. Officer Ramirez approached Jasper and remarked in a subdued tone, that's quite the visitor you have there. Jasper outlined the situation to the officer, pointing to the eagle, which was now calmly feasting on some chicken. The officers strategized their next moves to ensure that the eagle did not pose a danger to the surrounding spectators. They collaborated with Jasper to ensure the bird remained placid, just keep feeding it. 
Officer Ramirez advised, Jasper complied, tossing another piece of chicken to the eagle as the crowd looked on in hushed awe. One of the officers called for backup, alerting animal control. Jasper felt a wave of relief knowing that additional help was imminent. The eagle appeared content for the time being, understanding the need for specialized intervention. The police contacted animal control. Jasper continued to feed the eagle, his anxiety gradually easing. Officer Ramirez stayed nearby. Ready to intervene if necessary, the crowd began to whisper excitedly as more officers maintained security in the area. Jasper's phone vibrated with a message from a neighbor asking, What's happening? He quickly responded, waiting for animal control, fingers crossed. When animal control arrived, they assessed the eagle's behavior and discussed a plan with Jasper and the police. The lead officer, Sarah, approached Jasper with a reassuring smile, We've got this. She said confidently, her team observed the eagle from a distance, noting it looked healthy yet stressed. We'll need your help to keep it calm. Continue with the chicken. She instructed Jasper, assisting animal control. Jasper kept the eagle calm by feeding it chicken pieces. Here you go, buddy. He murmured gently, tossing another piece. The eagle pecked at the ground, its keen eyes locked on Jasper. Sarah and her team moved slowly, setting up their equipment. Good job, Jasper. She encouraged, filled with resolve, Jasper knew he had to keep the eagle focused on the food and not the approaching team. The animal control team prepared their equipment cautiously, moving closer for a safe capture, equipped with a large net and a tranquilizer gun. Act quickly and efficiently. Sarah directed her team, as Jasper tossed another piece of chicken, he watched the eagle consume it with a serene demeanor, in low voices, the officers coordinated their steps meticulously, while Jasper's heart raced, he continued to feed the bird, relying on his team's assistance, as the team drew nearer, the eagle grew a bit restless, prompting Jasper to throw additional chicken pieces gently, easy now. Jasper murmured, Offering a larger chunk to the eagle, the bird spread its wings and let out a sharp cry, startling the onlookers. It's fine, it's fine. Jasper reassured, catching a glance from Sarah who signaled her team to hold position, continuing his efforts to distract the eagle. Jasper felt the air thick with tension, yet, after a moment of unease, the bird calmed down and pecked at the chicken once more. Animal control managed to capture the eagle without causing it harm. Swiftly, Sarah cast a net over the bird while another team member secured its talons. The eagle shrieked but showed little resistance, and the crowd burst into applause. Breathless, Jasper realized he had been holding his breath. Well done. Sarah complimented him with a thumbs up as the team gently placed the eagle into a spacious, ventilated cage for transport. Upon inspection, animal control noticed a small, faded metal tag wrapped around the eagle's claw, marked with a trace of blood. With narrowed eyes, Sarah lifted the bird's leg, spotting the tag. What do we have here? She quietly asked. Jasper, standing nearby, leaned in for a closer look. The tag was aged and nearly concealed under feathers. We need to remove this. Sarah decided, and officers carefully cut the tag from the eagle's claw, which resembled a military dog tag, hold it steady. Sarah instructed while another officer used small cutters to remove the metal, the eagle squawked but stayed relatively calm, got it. The officer announced, holding up the tag, Jasper's eyes widened, that looks like a dog tag. He remarked, Sarah nodded, examining it intently, it certainly does, we need to investigate this. Jasper told the officers, explaining that he had called them because he feared the tag might have been taken from someone who was injured. I thought it might be significant. He added, observing the officers' reactions, Sarah's expression grew solemn, you did the right thing. She assured him, another officer looked over the tag more closely, this could be a clue to something larger. He suggested thoughtfully, the police took the tag for analysis, hoping to learn more about the eagle's origins. We'll need to run this through our database. Sarah said as she handed the tag to an officer who placed it carefully in an evidence bag. Jasper watched as they documented everything. We'll let you know what we find. Sarah promised. The eagle, now calm, observed them with sharp eyes. Jasper couldn't shake the feeling that this was just the beginning, as the neighborhood was abuzz with rumors following the removal of the eagle. Mrs. Thompson called out to Jasper from across her fence, inquiring if he had heard about the bird. Jasper, feeling the pressure of their collective curiosity, confirmed that a dog tag had been found on the eagle. 
the crowd around them whispered various theories about the implications of this find. Jasper watched the animal control van drive away, pondering the secrets that the tag might hold, feeling uneasy about the implications of the eagle's tag. Jasper decided to delve into its origins by conducting online searches. Seated at his computer, he entered search terms such as eagle dog tag and military bird tags. Although articles and forum discussions appeared, they offered no definite answers, this will require more effort. He muttered resolutely, navigating through pages of search results in hopes of uncovering a clue. During his search, Jasper found a reference suggesting that the tag could be linked to military applications which piqued his interest in its purpose. One article discussed the use of birds in espionage during wartime, which widened Jasper's eyes in astonishment. He pondered aloud whether this could be possible and continued reading about various military programs that utilized animals. These concepts seemed implausible, yet the tag found on the eagle's claw hinted at a different story. Driven by a growing curiosity, Jasper took note of the similarities between the found tag and those used in military operations. Raising further questions, he compared online images of military tags with the one he had seen, noting the same styles and engraving techniques, there must be a connection. He declared, jotting down notes, the more he researched, the more questions arose, who did the tag belong to, and why was the eagle here, convinced that online resources alone wouldn't suffice, Jasper planned a visit to the local library to further explore his findings, he prepared a list of books and archives to review hopeful that the library might hold more substantial information. With a mix of excitement and nervousness, Jasper acknowledged the gravity of the mystery he was delving into. The potential military link only strengthened his resolve to uncover the story behind the eagle and its tag. I can't let this go, there has to be more to this. He told himself as he packed his bag for the library visit. The following day, Jasper, filled with determination, headed to the library. His first stop was the reference section where he sought out books on military history and similar tags. He also utilized the library's computers to access digital archives, typing in Operation Skywatch to see what he could uncover upon hitting the library. Jasper's fervent exploration caught the attention of a librarian who approached him to inquire if he needed assistance in locating something specific, Jasper affirmed. Detailing his pursuit, the librarian directed him towards the microfilm section where he unearthed various old documents and books referencing the now-defunct Operation Skywatch. As Jasper perused the aged pages, his eyes grew wide in astonishment. This is it. He murmured quietly, the papers detail the highly classified initiative that trained eagles to undertake surveillance missions. As Jasper scribbled notes, his excitement mounted, the more details he uncovered, the more evident it became that Operation Skywatch was not just any project, it was enveloped in layers of secrecy that piqued his interest further. The documents revealed how eagles were meticulously trained to carry miniature cameras and other equipment. Unbelievable. Jasper muttered as he flipped through the documentation, the primary aim of the project was to leverage the natural capabilities of eagles for stealth missions. As Jasper documented the crucial information, he felt a blend of awe and curiosity. This discovery not only explained the tag but also posed more questions. Delving deeper, Jasper learned about the project's clandestine history and its sudden cessation. The papers hinted at internal disagreements and ethical debates that precipitated its premature conclusion. Why was it shut down? Jasper pondered aloud. The more he read, the more he realized that the eagle that had landed in his yard was part of a broader narrative, armed with this new knowledge. Jasper resolved to visit a military base for further insights. He understood the necessity of obtaining first-hand accounts or official documents to grasp the entirety of Operation Skywatch, time to take this to the next level. He thought, filled with resolve as he gathered his notes and prepped for the journey, the next step was to find someone who could provide answers. The library had provided a starting point, and now it was time to act on it. Jasper approached the military base gate, explaining his intent to the guard. I need to speak with someone about a defunct project. He stated, presenting his notes. The guard looked skeptical but proceeded to make a call. After a few minutes, Jasper was escorted to an office where he waited anxiously. Soon, the door opened, and Captain Reynolds entered. Jasper relayed his story and showed the eagle's tag to Captain Reynolds, who examined it with keen interest. This is quite unusual. Reynolds remarked, zooming in on the photo Jasper had captured. Jasper detailed his discovery of the eagle and the information he had gathered thus far. Captain Reynolds nodded thoughtfully, 
Operation Skywatch, you say, it's been a long time since I've heard that name. He said, leaning back in his chair, let's see what we can find out, this tag definitely looks like it's from one of our old projects. Reynolds confirmed as he pulled up some files on his computer, follow me. She motioned to Jasper, as they made their way to the base's archives, a place brimming with countless documents, Jasper was filled with both excitement and anxiety, together, they sifted through the archives and unearthed records that confirmed the tag was from a project involving an eagle named Thunder, part of Operation Skywatch, here it is. Reynolds declared, pointing at a specific file, Jasper leaned over to see the details, Thunder was a significant asset in the operation, celebrated for its exceptional surveillance skills, this eagle was trained for high-level reconnaissance missions. Reynolds elaborated, Jasper's eyes widened in amazement, so this really is military equipment. He realized, a sense of affirmation washing over him, we need to delve deeper, I need to understand why it ended up on my front lawn. Reynolds remarked as he shut the file, they agreed to meet the next day at the archives, leaving the building, Jasper's mind was abuzz with thoughts of thunder in Operation Skywatch, he was fueled by a renewed determination to unravel the entire story, the mystery was far from resolved, and he was eager for the next phase, the concept had been to deploy eagles in surveillance roles in areas too perilous for human agents. Jasper listened attentively as Reynolds shared how these birds were equipped with miniature cameras to collect intelligence, however, ethical concerns and advances in drone technology eventually led to the discontinuation of the project. Reynolds sighed, Jasper nodded, taking in the information, not everyone was in agreement with that decision, especially the handlers. Reynolds added, glancing at a photograph, this tag, however, isn't Thunder's original one. He noted, Jasper's eyes widened again, so, Thunder was active in operations, he queried, Reynolds affirmed, exactly, and why Thunder is here now, after all these years, is the real question. Feeling a chill at the enormity of the mystery, Jasper and Captain Reynolds resolved to dig deeper at the military archives, we need to locate the mission logs and any other records concerning Thunder. Reynolds proposed, Jasper concurred, they set a time to meet at the archives the next day we might finally uncover some answers. Jasper said, a mixture of anticipation and anxiety in his voice, Reynolds agreed, hopeful that the archives would unlock the secrets they sought, after making several calls to secure the necessary permissions, Reynolds confirmed, we're all set for tomorrow, we'll have access to everything related to Skywatch. Jasper felt a surge of hope, great, let's get to the bottom of this. He said, both men feeling the gravity of their impending discovery, eager for the following day, their visit to the archives represented a critical step in deciphering the enigma of the eagle's unexpected appearance. Arriving early the next day, Jasper and Reynolds were met by an archivist who led them to a secure room. Everything you need should be here. The archivist assured them, she gestured towards numerous boxes marked Operation Skywatch. As Jasper felt a surge of exhilaration, Reynolds, equally eager, opened the first box, let's begin. He declared, Jasper nodded in agreement, eager to delve into the heaps of documents awaiting them in the archives. Together, Jasper and Captain Reynolds rummaged through the ancient documents and reports, we should start with these. Reynolds suggested, extracting a pile of aged papers, Jasper flipped through the documents, scanning for any references to thunder, they worked in quiet, only the sound of rustling papers and the buzz of fluorescent lights filling the air, with each document Jasper reviewed, his excitement intensified, sensing he was on the brink of an important discovery, they unearthed files that chronicled the training and missions of thunder, an eagle from Operation Skywatch, take a look at this. Reynolds remarked, passing a hefty file to Jasper, opening it, Jasper found comprehensive records of Thunder's training routines and various missions, this bird was phenomenal. Jasper whispered, engrossed in reading about Thunder's exploits, the records depicted a highly skilled and invaluable asset, as Jasper's intrigue deepened, he understood just how extraordinary Thunder was, check this out. Reynolds pointed out, indicating a report, it detailed a mission during which Thunder vanished without a trace, so, Thunder went MIA. Jasper concluded, connecting the dots, and now he turns up in my yard years later. The enigma surrounding Thunder's disappearance and sudden reappearance added a new dimension to their investigation, with fresh evidence at hand, Jasper felt closer to comprehending why Thunder had appeared in his front yard, 
there must be a reason he came to me. Jasper mused, glancing at Reynolds, perhaps he's seeking something familiar. Reynolds proposed, the pieces of the puzzle were slowly aligning, yet many questions lingered, knowing the next steps were vital, Jasper declared, I need to contact someone who knows more about these eagles. Determined to unravel the complete story. Jasper reached out to Dr. Morgan, a specialist in military-trained eagles, he found her contact details online and promptly called her, Dr. Morgan, I have something intriguing to share. Jasper began as he explained the situation, Dr. Morgan listened attentively, I'd be happy to assist. She responded, they scheduled a video call during which Jasper could show her the eagle's tag and discuss his discoveries, a spark of hope lit up within Jasper as Dr. Morgan confirmed the eagle was indeed thunder, during their conversation, she shared stories of Thunder's extensive military training, recounting how Thunder was trained for surveillance missions, Thunder was one of the finest. She stated, Jasper listened, captivated by the legendary bird's storied past, learning about Thunder's remarkable skills and the special bond it shared with its handlers was both exhilarating and daunting for Jasper, Thunder was trained to respond to over 50 commands and possessed an exceptional instinct for mingling, Dr. Morgan explained. Jasper was amazed by the tales of Thunder's missions and the deep relationships it formed with its trainers, these birds were truly extraordinary. Dr. Morgan emphasized that Thunder the Eagle had a strong instinct to return to familiar places, which might explain why it ended up in Jasper's yard. Eagles like Thunder possess an innate skill to navigate back to key locations, she mentioned. Jasper considered if his yard could be one of those significant spots. Dr. Morgan agreed suggesting that something in the area might have triggered a memory of Thunder's training grounds or original home. This thought deepened Jasper's bond with the eagle as he began to appreciate its history and the extensive journey it had endured, Thunder has experienced a great deal. Dr. Morgan remarked, Jasper, reflecting on the eagle's endurance, realized the bird's landing in his yard wasn't coincidental, I feel like we're connected now. He confessed, Dr. Morgan smiled and responded, you're now a part of Thunder's story, take good care of him. Jasper vowed to do exactly that, feeling a renewed sense of purpose. Together with Captain Reynolds, Jasper analyzed potential origins of the blood found on the tag, considering various possibilities, including injuries from another animal or during flight. They evaluated the likelihood of each scenario, determined to uncover what had occurred. We need to inspect Thunder for any injuries. Concluded Reynolds, Jasper agreed. Knowing that pinpointing the source of the blood was essential for understanding the complete narrative, upon visiting Thunder, they observed the eagle struggling with flight, leading them to speculate that Jasper's front yard might have been the crash site. Poor guy. Jasper remarked as he watched Thunder's feeble attempts to fly. Reynolds examined the eagle more closely and suggested a possible sprained wing. Jasper sympathized, realizing the eagle must have been both exhausted and injured to end up in his yard. Jasper and Captain Reynolds then laid out a map, drawing a line from the military base, through Jasper's yard, and considering where Thunder might have originated, using a ruler, they marked possible flight paths. If he was trying to return to the base, he might have flown over these woods. Reynolds pointed out, Jasper traced the line with his finger and agreed, seeing the logic in their theory, they concluded that the flight path led to the woods and decided to explore further believing these woods might hold the key to understanding Thunder's origins or what had happened to him, packing some supplies, they set off towards the wooded area, both excited and nervous about what they might discover, the woods promised answers, and they were determined to find them. As Jasper and Captain Reynolds enter the woods, their resolve to unravel the mysteries surrounding Thunder only grew stronger, the map served as a guide to trace the eagle's possible path through the dense, uneven forest terrain, keep close. Reynolds cautioned as they progressed with vigilance, inspecting any disturbances, Jasper frequently referred to the map to ensure they were on track, Thunder likely passed through here. He observed, noting the eerie silence broken only by the sound of crunching leaves, heightening the tension, soon, Jasper and Captain Reynolds stumbled upon a dilapidated cabin hidden among the trees, its roof partly caved in, this looks promising. Reynolds remarked, pointing at the structure, Jasper nodded, his excitement mounting, they approached the cabin warily and peered through its shattered windows, let's inspect the inside. Jasper proposed, as the door squeaked open, a dusty room filled with old supplies and scattered documents was revealed, 
Jasper deduced from the papers that Thunder had probably been dispatched to seek aid for a wounded soldier. These documents detail training exercises. Jasper noted, holding up a paper, Reynolds quickly reviewed it, adding, it appears they were active here recently. Jasper's realization deepened as he put the pieces together. Thunder was attempting to return to base for help. He figured, the significance of the bloodstain tag now clear, Reynolds concurred. Grasping the urgency of their quest, they alerted the authorities, initiating a rescue operation that successfully located and assisted the injured party. Using his radio, Reynolds called for backup, reporting, we might have an injured soldier here. As Jasper observed, a response team, complete with helicopters and medics, swiftly converged on the location, scouring the area for the injured individual. Jasper was filled with a blend of hope and anxiety hoping they were not too late, the original handler of thunder, found injured in the woods, was being attended to by medics, it's him. Reynolds confirmed, the handler, though weak, managed to utter, thunder. Upon seeing them, to which Jasper responded with a nod, overwhelmed with relief, the handler had been stranded for days, awaiting rescue, the rescued soldier was identified and reunited with his unit after the handler was stabilized, another soldier, also injured but alive, was found nearby, we've secured them both. A medic reported as Jasper watched them being airlifted to safety, well done. Reynolds commended, patting Jasper on the back, Jasper smiled, proud of their accomplishment, Thunder's mission was a success, and the soldiers were safe, the entire ordeal was surreal yet profoundly fulfilling, Jasper was celebrated as a local hero for his pivotal role in unraveling the mystery and facilitating the rescue, his story was featured in the local news, highlighting his quick thinking and courage. Neighbors extended their congratulations, and children gazed at him in admiration. You truly accomplished something wonderful. One remarked, Jasper experienced a blend of pride and humility. I just did what I believed was right. He responded, thankful for everyone's support, Thunder was taken back to the military, and Jasper was offered the chance to visit and learn more about the Eagle's training. Captain Reynolds welcomed him to the base where Jasper observed a demonstration of Thunder's impressive abilities, he's an exceptional bird. Reynolds commented with a smile, Jasper nodded, honored to see Thunder in action, I never realized eagles were capable of so much. He confessed, the visit enhanced his appreciation for Thunder and the bond they had formed, the community celebrated the resolution of the mystery, lauding Jasper and his team's bravery and quick thinking. A local park organized a small ceremony in their honor. At the event, the mayor presented Jasper with a certificate, proclaiming, Here's to Jasper and his team for their courage and dedication. The crowd erupted in cheers, and Jasper blushed, overwhelmed by their warmth and gratitude. It was a festive occasion, filled with laughter, stories, and a collective sense of achievement. Reflecting on the events, Jasper felt grateful for the unexpected journey and the new connections he had made, sitting on his porch. He pondered all that had transpired, who would have thought an eagle in my yard could lead to all this, he wondered aloud, he felt a deep sense of fulfillment. Knowing he had played a role in something significant, Jasper smiled, ready for whatever adventures life might offer next, do you have any insights after watching the above stories, feel free to tell us in the comment sections below.